What's up, members of the Barrio? It's Jod coming to you from the harbor in front of Brookfield Place in Manhattan. And before we start this video, I want to share a story with you all. We were inside of an elevator. We had just finished shooting our first day of our rooftop bar guide, and a couple was approaching the elevator. I stuck out my hand to hold the elevator door open for them, like a polite person, and I heard them whisper to each other, he must not be from New York. And I got to thinking, what other stereotypes do people have about New Yorkers? So today, we're gonna be exploring 13 different myths and common stereotypes that people hold about New Yorkers, and we're gonna see just how accurate they actually are. Guys, make sure to check out my other videos about New York City, all linked down below. Here we go. New Yorkers are rude. I don't think the average New Yorker is rude. I think the average New Yorker is impatient and there's a big difference. Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of rude people in New York City as there are plenty of rude people in every big city around the world. But the difference here is that I feel that New York tends to draw many type A personalities who are usually in a rush to get somewhere. So if you're ordering food from a deli and the guy behind the counter isn't being super social or friendly, it may not be because he doesn't like you, but it's likely because there's a big line behind you and he doesn't have time to be super chatty. Now, there are a lot of other reasons people think New Yorkers are rude. Some of it deals with taxi drivers, always honking, but I think on the whole, your average New Yorker is more than willing to help you out if you stop them in the street and ask for directions. New Yorkers hate tourists. I don't think New Yorkers fundamentally hate tourists. I think New Yorkers hate many behaviors that more ignorant tourists who visit New York don't really comprehend would annoy locals. Let me give you some examples. If you're guilty of any of these transgressions, I think you might get some rude responses from New Yorkers. For example, if you're crowding the sidewalk four or five people in a row and somebody walking in the street can't pass you, New Yorkers aren't gonna like you. If you try to board a subway without letting the other people off the car first, New Yorkers aren't gonna like you. And a lot of New Yorkers who work in Midtown especially, they might say they don't like tourists because there's always so many people in the Times Square area just crowding things so much. But fundamentally, I think New Yorkers are very welcoming to people from different countries, different cities, visiting as long as they are aware that there are people that live here and work here and you just need to be very conscious of them. New York is unsafe. This is mostly a myth perpetuated from the negative view of New York City during the 1970s and 1980s. New York City is in fact one of the safest big cities in the world and the odds of a tourist running into any serious issues go down a lot assuming that you have common sense. You're not likely to walk into a very high crime neighborhood to begin with. What you could run into occasionally is little scams, little tourist traps. We've talked about those in some other videos and you've got to check out those. I've done a bunch of them already on this channel. All New Yorkers have thick accents. This is definitely a myth and Many movies and television shows have portrayed this over the years. The, the typical Brooklyn or Bronx accent is so common on the big screen. Like, can I order a coffee, please? Very thick, heavy New York accents. First of all, 37% of New Yorkers were born in another country. Second of all, even with my native New Yorker friends, I do not hear that kind of an accent very commonly. You do from time to time, but I've even read online that that, that traditional accent is dying out a bit. Many people here are transplants from all over the United States. But if you did grow up in the tri-state area, there is definitely an accent that is prevalent. I have a very good ear for it. I used to be a broadcaster. I even have it myself sometimes when I'm talking with my friends very quickly. But it's a lot more subtle than you would actually think. Only rich people can afford to live here. Only rich people can afford to travel here. This is definitely a myth. 
There are 8 million people who live in New York City. Now, if you want to live in a one bedroom apartment by yourself in some of the more desirable areas of Manhattan or Brooklyn, you're going to need some money. But there are plenty of areas of New York City that are not that unaffordable, especially with a couple of roommates. If you're willing to live 30, 40 minutes away by train from Midtown Manhattan and you're commuting in, also it can be very affordable. And as far as travel being super expensive in New York City, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, we have covered so many cheap, free things to do, cheap places to eat. We've, we've even covered how to get more affordable hotels or Airbnb stays. So I think that is definitely a myth. If you want to travel to New York on a budget, it is certainly possible. New Yorkers are snobs. I actually agree a lot with this statement, but let me explain. New Yorkers are snobby about certain things. And we'll start off with food preferences. You ask any New Yorker where their favorite pizza place is, where their favorite bagel spot is, and you could get into some heated arguments. Believe me, I've seen it. New Yorkers also can be snobby about the arts. I mean, heck, there are so many different places to go to shows here, to go to live music events, theaters. All of those great things are in New York. And I imagine if you move here, and you have a preference for that, you could be snobby about what different events to go to. And probably the biggest thing New Yorkers are snobby about is neighborhoods, especially where you live. Ask somebody who lives in downtown Manhattan, and they might consider the Upper East Side a foreign country. Ditto with Brooklyn. I've met people who live in Brooklyn. They do not like to come to Manhattan very often. Again, that's not everybody, but that's just some people. So I do agree with the stereotype that New Yorkers can be snobby. I could even be snobby about certain things myself, so I am guilty as charged about being a snobby New Yorker just about certain things. New York is dirty. New York has rats. Sadly, I'm going to have to agree with that stereotype for the most part. I saw a great quote the other day. It said, Welcome to New York, where you can see the smells and smell the sights. The really congested parts of Manhattan I actually think it's pretty dirty no matter how hard they try and believe me the sanitation workers who do a great job there's just so many people that you see garbage bags on the streets on a really hot day the odors out there it can be pretty pungent and as far as rats are concerned I'd like to tell you it's a myth but I have from time to time seen rats running on the subway tracks in fact just a few days ago I saw a rat strolling on the subway platform upstairs and this girl started walking up the stairs saw the rat shrieked and started walking down the stairs uh welcome to new york new yorkers are always in a rush i think this is mostly true especially in the more crowded areas of the city where people are zipping around where speed walking is something that just comes natural when you're trying to get from point A to point B. This city is truly built on efficiency. Granted, the MTA isn't always that efficient. Don't get me started on them. But you can get around relatively quickly by walking, by taking the subway. And there's just so many type A personalities here. And this stereotype is perpetuated more because many tourists stick to Midtown where there are just a ton of commuters always in a rush to either get to the train or coming from the train to get to work. So for the most part, I'm gonna agree with this stereotype. New Yorkers are loud, New Yorkers are outspoken. Mostly true, I would say your typical New Yorker during the day has got headphones on. They're just trying to get from point A to point B peacefully. But if you do something to upset somebody here, you are likely to hear about it. If you're walking and you stop abruptly in front of somebody commuting to work, you might get an earful. Another interesting phenomenon about New York City that I have experienced many times is the outspokenness, meaning you're having a conversation with a friend walking and you're just debating a topic. Uh, maybe a month ago, I was asking my friend, what do you think of this place? And a stranger just jumped into the conversation and said, oh yeah, that's the best pizza in the East Village. I forgot what it was exactly about, but I've had that happen so many times where strangers will just jump in to your conversations 
And you know what? I actually enjoy it. I think it's a really uh, strong fabric of being in New York. Having so many people in a tight vicinity and you can just joke with each other even if you overhear something in a conversation. So, are New Yorkers outspoken? Not everybody, but I like to think this stereotype is somewhat true. Dating in New York City is awful. I'm married, but I was single in New York City for a long time. I'm gonna agree a lot with that statement. I think the stereotype is pretty true because while there's a lot of quantity in New York City, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna find a quality person. The grass is always greener on the other side. That's the motto of many single people in New York. And I talk to my single friends, guys and girls, and I rarely hear one of them saying how great it is to be single here, unless you're just looking for something short-term or casual. To actually find a, a good relationship in New York City, I have heard far, far more complaints about it than people who are happy. So I'm going to have to sadly agree with that stereotype. New Yorkers don't make eye contact with strangers. This is definitely true. I mean, it's not small town America here. Your typical New Yorker just wants to go about their day and not be bothered by certain things. And when you're walking the streets of Manhattan especially, there are so many people just trying to sell you stuff or trying to approach you to ask you for something that many New Yorkers have headphones on, heads down, just moving from point A to point B. Another possible reason that a lot of New Yorkers don't make eye contact is Unfortunately, there are some mentally unstable people, people who have mental health issues that are walking around. And if you made eye contact with everybody, I think you would just invite some unwanted attention to yourself. So I'm gonna have to agree that the stereotype of New Yorkers not making eye contact with strangers, pretty much true. New York City is super loud completely agree unless you're living on City Island. There's few places in New York City, at least in Manhattan or the really busy parts of Brooklyn where noise isn't going to be an everyday part of your life, be it sirens from ambulances, police cars, construction, garbage trucks, loud people, drunk people. It's literally part of the fabric of living in most parts of New York City. And as a resident, you just get used to it. And if you can't get used to it, you probably shouldn't be living here. New Yorkers think that New York is the best city and could never live anywhere else. This is super, super common. And there are exceptions to this. I've met some native New Yorkers who lived here their entire lives and they want to leave, they want to escape. But most transplants that I run into, they're in New York City for a reason. Something drew them here, even with all of the potential drawbacks, like living in a small apartment, all the noise, the smells, whatever it may be. Most New Yorkers I talk to think this is the best city in the world, and I am one of them. For me, I could live anywhere I want in the United States. I grew up in the tri-state area, and there will never be a city, in my opinion, as good to live in as New York City. At least not for me at this stage in my life right now. And most of the New Yorkers that I talk to tend to agree with those sentiments, and it's generally what drew them here in the first place. Make sure to check out my other New York City playlists all linked down below. We've covered so many things from tips, things to do, places to eat, cheap eats, you name it, we've covered it. Guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.